Welcome to the Boofwang Academy, where I instruct you on how to use your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio one simple step at a time. My name is Randolfo Cafe, and I have been an undocumented radio operator for over 40 years. And in this lesson, I am going to show you how easy it is to add a custom startup message like this, like this, or like this, all-time classic, to your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. To accomplish this feat of technological wizardry, we must venture into the world of computers because you cannot program a startup message directly on the radio. To add a custom startup message on your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio, you must use the free Chirp software. Actually, you should use the newer Chirp Next software, which is even better and is also free. The free Chirp and Chirp Next software both run on Windows, on Mac, and even on Linux, and I will put a link directly to the Chirp website in the information section of this video below so that you can download it for yourself. However, I am not going to go over how to download and install the Chirp software in this video, so if you do not know how to do that part, please stop watching this video immediately and go watch a video about how to use your computer. You will also need a programming cable to interface your computing machine to your Boofwang radio. And this can be a problem for many people because they either buy the wrong cable or they try to save a few dollars and buy the cheap $6 cable instead of the high-end $24 cable. And yes, that probably is more than you actually paid for your Boofwang radio, but if you wanna play, you gotta pay. This is the cable that I use and it has never failed me on my Mac computer or when I am forced to use Windows. This cable also works with pretty much all other radios that have the same type of holes in them as the Boofwang UV5R. I will put a link to purchase this cable in the more information section of this video below. Once you have all of the prerequisites, the rest is easy, so feel free to follow along. Step one, connect your Boofwang or similar radio to your computer using the previously mentioned cable. Turn the radio on and ensure that the volume is turned up at least halfway. Step two, fire up the Chirp or Chirp Next software on your computing device. Step three, download the contents of your Boofwang or similar radio into the Chirp software by selecting radio and then download from radio in the menus. Choose your radio from the manufacturer and model list, hit the go button, and all of the programming that is currently stored within your radio will be copied into the Chirp software. At this point, before we go into step four, it is a good idea to save the contents of what you just downloaded on your computer. This will act as a backup of your radio so that should you screw up something in the settings, you can simply open this file in the Chirp software and then upload it back into your radio to put your radio back to how it was before you screwed it up. And to do that, just click the File and then Save menu options, then Go or OK or whatever it says to save the file. Step four, click on the settings tab near the top. Then on the left side of the screen, click where it says other settings. Do you see all of these settings? Do not mess with any of them. Go to the power on message one and power on message two fields and type in your witty little message, bearing in mind that you are limited to only seven characters per line and only two lines. Step five, you must now send your changes back into the radio because the changes are not live on the radio when you type them. So from the menu, select radio and then upload to radio. Step six, turn the radio off, unplug the cable and turn the radio back on to enjoy your new custom message. And finally, because I know a lot of people are going to leave comments asking this question, the answer is no. You cannot change how long the message shows when you turn the radio on. 